Hello, my name is Dean Stedman. I'm the Education Program Manager for FANUC America in the CNC division. What we have here next to me is our Education Simulator, and I'm going to go through some of the functions and features of using this unit. In our Education Simulator range, we have two versions. One is the, the standard simulator that we're going to go through now. In the box, they both come with a backup CD, an additional mounting bracket, and also a power cable. That's all you need to get started initially. The most common question we get asked with the simulator is, can it be a lathe and a mill? And the answer is yes. We can switch this unit from lathe to mill at power on, simply by pressing either Control and M for mill or Control and T for lathe. So we're gonna power this unit up in milling mode. We need to hold these buttons in until the boot sequence fully starts. It's approximately 20 to 25 seconds, and it'll be denoted by some writing that will come up at the top will say simulator M for mill or simulator T. At that point, we can release the keys. Now the sequence is started, I'll go over some of the other features on the control while we wait for the boot to finish. So we have a standard 10.4 inch screen with a flash ATA card slot and our USB interface. On the screen, we have a set of horizontal and vertical soft keys, which will open menus and, and different screens inside the control. We also have our e-stop, our feed override, and MPG. We have an MDI panel here, which has our full QWERTY keyboard and also allows us to change from the different screens. And then at the bottom, we have the machine operator panel, which allows us to switch from auto to edit to MDI. We also have the, the dry run and the block skip and those types of features, as well as also selecting our MPG or job buttons as well.